Arctic ecosystems are considered as those ecosystems north of the Arctic Circle, which I'm indicating here. Rising global temperatures have resulted in a reduction in the area covered by sea ice in this region. A consequence of this is that habitats of some organisms are lost, while the range over which the habitat of another organism exists may be expanded. Thus, there can be a redistribution of plant and animal species. For example, mosquitoes have been found in northern regions where they previously never existed, and the same has been true of robins. There's been some concern over possible increases in pest species in the Arctic region due to increases in temperature. The habitat for the polar bear has been reduced as the sea ice has melted. Their preferred method of hunting is to catch the seals by standing at the edge of the ice near a hole. However, as the ice has melted, the seals have had a greater area of open ocean in which to swim, and the ability of the polar bears to catch the seals has been reduced. Fewer kills means less food for the polar bears, and so the population of polar bears is reduced. Another way in which the polar bears can be affected are as the top predators of the Arctic ecosystem. The sea ice provides a surface upon which algae can grow. They utilise the light that shines through the sea ice as a result of its transparency. However, with a reduction in sea ice coverage as a result of increasing global temperatures, that means there's a decrease in the surface area over which the algae can grow. If there's less algae, that means there's less energy available to the other trophic levels in the food chain. Another consequence is that the Arctic tundra shown here, which is normally covered in lichen and mosses, has seen an increase in the prevalence of woody shrubs that don't normally grow here. Increasing temperatures can also result in the decomposition of detritus on the tundra. This decomposition releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, thus further enhancing the greenhouse effect. This is known as positive feedback.